It is our country's premier investigating agency, the CBI, but off late it's got a really bad rap from a lot of people, civil society activists, saying that CBI is controlled by the government. It's called Congress Bureau of Investigation now. During the NDA regime, it was called Compromise Bureau of Investigation. Of course, it's headed by Mr. A.P. Singh, who's terribly shy of camera, who never gives interviews, so it's a rare privilege to interview you. Thank you very much for agreeing to speak with us, Mr. Singh. Thanks, Anita. You know, um, I've read just one interview I think you've given in print, and in that you said that, you know, it's, it's a wrong perception. Even yesterday when you were doing your farewell press conference, you were talking to us, you said it's a misconception that, you know, it's controlled by somebody. Can you tell NDTV now, to set the record state, to tell our viewers, can you put your hand on your heart and say that you don't face any pressure from any quarter? First of all, I take strong exception. <laughs> To any cha any such allegations that uh, we are the Congress Bureau of Investigation. We are saying that's the perception, yeah. sir. So yeah. we, I, I, I take strong uh, okay. risk against that. But yes, uh, as far as our investigations are concerned, we are under nobody except the constitutional courts when there is a Supreme Court monitoring or a High Court monitoring. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, we are responsible to the trial courts. And as I've already explained, the fact that uh, our officers are free to write whatever they like come to any decision, it is the job of the director to protect them and to see that they are able to investigate fairly and fairly. I know, I know that's in the books, but I ask no, you. No, I'm telling you what is fact. <laughs> but do you we have no pressure. In fact, uh, no pressure at all. No pressure at all. Yes, we get requests. People ask us uh, from all parties. All parties. All parties. What kind of requests? Tell us. Tell us a little bit. What kind no, of requests? No, request means that, you know, that please look into this. You know, it's possible that this person may be innocent, that person may be innocent. Okay. Please look into it, examine it. And we do examine it. And everybody has been free to meet me. In the last yes. two years, I know. everybody comes. They come I with their the one, problems. The one, one uh, instance that we reported that was when Neera Radia yeah. came to so meet So anybody has a complaint, they come, they, co they come and meet me. I look at the complaints, I send it down, mm. and they see our officers, and then we take a decision. And so, so the political parties, they call you saying that, you know, hear our version? Yeah, exactly. Okay. They, 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 are, they want to see their version, and we listen to everybody. But does the ruling government, doesn't it have, so because of the sanction, because of this whole aspect of sanction, which is by law, don't they control you in a certain way, wouldn't you say? No, I don't think so. Because all our important cases are basically with the courts, with the constitutional courts, where we don't require sanction. But courts but it comes some, after the charge no, sheet, sir. No, no. The Till March, the charge sheet process. Cases which are being given to us by the Supreme Court and the High Court, they yes. are being monitored by them at, at the initial level of investigations as well, mm -hmm. where we do not need sanctions. So okay. only in certain cases. What we about do arrest? Need, do you need sanctions for arrest? Uh, if it is, uh, if it is, uh, if it is a joint secretary and above, yes, yeah. yes. But not if it is a high court or a supreme court mandated case. Then in that case, we do not need any sanctions. But in cases where we need sanctions, we mostly we get them. There may be an odd case where it is yes. pending in government, and then you have. A mechanism. You have the CDC. Quite a few, in fact, sir. Supreme Court also yeah. noticed yeah. and gave a thing. And I think your officers also took it up in Supreme Court, saying that we don't get the sanctions. You know. Yeah, and Supreme Court is monitoring it. So yes. I'm sure we will come to a satisfactory solution in the end. If you're saying that, okay, you get a few call, phone calls, but no real pressure as such, why is it that Mr. A.P. saying, and you yourself campaign a lot for it, that you're so, so um, passionate about autonomy? You've spoken about it a lot. And what's interesting, what a lot of our viewers may not know, is that you you didn't just meet uh, you know government people and the BJP and the, you also went and met civil society activists, right? I've, I've, that's an open secret. I've, yes. I've I've told everybody that yes, we we campaigned, we met them. It was primarily to save this institution, in the sense that uh, the original uh, Jan Lokpal bill said that uh, you know the anti-corruption machinery of CBI should be taken over by the Lokpal, mm -hmm. and the government bill said that uh, Lokpal will have its own investigating anti-corruption investigating agency. Then we would have become something like uh, you know when terror went with the NIA, then we are no longer investigating terror yes. cases. So similarly. Yes. If CBI is not investigating anti-corruption cases, then what is it doing? Yes. Then there is no... So uh, you felt at that moment that it yeah, is under threat? Yeah. And not, not under threat, but, uh, w uh, you know, our, uh, the word is raison d'etat, is that we are an anti-corruption agency. Yes. So, uh, so, and when you already have an anti-corruption agency, why do you need another so what one? Did India's number one news app just got even better.
download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.